All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a full code outreach system, making use of the lead sniper, Google Maps, Scraper tool for your lead generation, and also reply.io to send your code outreach. So, the reason why I'm doing this is just to help people out there who are trying to start up code email marketing and don't know how to get started. So, in this video, you're going to be learning how to use lead sniper, Google Maps, Scraper for lead generation, where you're going to be getting verified leads directly from Google Maps and you should know Google Maps is a powerhouse housing lots of businesses so you're going to be using the right to the lead sniper Google Maps scraper to get your information such as the email addresses phone numbers website URLs and so many other information that you are interested in now once you've been able to collect all of this data we are going to be importing it into reply.io where we are going to be sending them series of emails even to SMS and if you care to use WhatsApp broadcast Podcast, you can also do that so in today's video i want you to sit back watch the very end and practice all of the things i share with you in this video so let's get started all right guys so getting your leads with lead sniper google maps scraper is a very very easy thing to do and i'm going to show you how to do it so the first thing you have to do is to install the lead sniper google maps scraper extension into your computer browser so i'm going to be leaving a video teaching you how to install the lead sniper google maps scraper tool into your browser it's a very simple thing to do all right so once you've been able to install the software basically you should be having um you know something looking like this on your device so what you want to do from here is basically input the keywords you're trying to get your leads from so for this basically i have mine already written out in a notepad all right and you can see all of this here at the leads i'm trying to get making use of lead sniper google maps scraper and google maps scraper to basically helps us extract leads directly from google maps so it means that i'm going to be imputing a list of businesses available on google maps all right and i'm going to be allowing them to help me get their user data such as their email addresses phone number website urls and even social media urls so i can continue from there so i'm going to copy all of this keywords for my notepad and i'm going to input it into the lead sniper google maps scraper tool so right here you can see i've been able to input my keywords into the lead sniper google maps scraper so i'm going to click on start and once i do click on start automatically you can see the lead sniper google maps scraper tool opens up a new tab and right here you can see the scraping processes so you can see it's helping me get my leads directly from google maps so as much as i've been able to input the right keywords into the system it gets me my leads in return and you can see i have this thing such as hair salon in california hair salon in texas hair salon in florida so you are much more specific about the niche the industry and also the particular location you're trying to get your leads from now lead sniper google maps scraper tool is one of the best lead generation tool out there because you have the ability to tell the software exactly what you want and where you want to get it unlike other softwares that will not allow you the leverage of choosing your particular location but with lead sniper google maps scraper 2 you can do well as choosing the exact place you're trying to get your leads from it's as easy as this getting your leads using the lead sniper google maps scraper now this actually would work fine for you if you allow this run for a while so the longer you allow this to run the more results going to be helping you accumulate and now one super thing about the lead sniper 2 i'd like to share with you is the ability for you to work on multiple browsers now what do i mean you can see right here on my screen that i have multiple browsers extracting leads for me now this is the first one that we did ourselves together and you can see i'm trying to target a salon in california and all like that and right here on the second one you can see i'm targeting plumbers dentists lawyers and some other big industries so this would help you get leads faster it would help you get thousands of leads in a very short period of time and you can also separate your leads which would help you do things much more better so if you want to get access to the lead sniper google maps scraper tool i'm going to be leaving the link down below for easy access so once you click on the link it's going to bring you over to this page where you have to choose the amount you want to pay to get access to this tool now you can see they have three different plans for you now this is basically based on your own budget so whatever plan you're going to be going for and you can see each and every of the features that each plan contains so now that we've been able to 
to clear out on Lead Sniper, Google Maps, Crippled 2. Now let's go over to the next software, which is going to be helping us send code emails to our recipients. So you know the exact thing is for us to get leads from Lead Sniper, import them into a new software that can help us send code emails. So let's continue. All right, guys, now for us to start sending code emails, all right, I'm going to be teaching you how to use a particular software built for this. This is called Reply.io. So Reply.io is one of my favorite code email marketing software and that is why i'm going to be showing you how to get access to reply.io and also how to use this the right way so you can be getting the results you're meant to get now the first thing you have to do is to click the link as well down below it's going to bring you over to reply.io dashboard so right from here what you need to do is to input your email address and also you want to input a good password so for me i'm just going to do that really quick all right and here you go guys you can see we have access to reply.io already now mind you if you look at this top here you're going to be seeing that you can use reply.io for 14 days so it means that you're going to be having access to use this tool for as long as you want to but it's not going to be exceeding 14 days so i'm just going to close this right here i'm going to close this right here as well because i'm going to be walking you guys through everything you need to know about reply.io and also how to use this the right way to start sending code outreach all right now now you can see right from here the first thing we have to do guys is to basically connect our mailbox so now what do i mean by connecting your mailbox now how do you want to send your code emails you basically need a sender and that is why reply.io is going to be asking you to confirm if you would like to also purchase some of their senders so if you think this is going to be worthwhile for you you can try it out right now but for me i already have my own sender ready so i'm just going to skip this method because it's easy for you to do and very simple to understand even if you follow the prompt by reply.io so now how do we import our leads gotten from the lead sniper google Maps scraper so what you want to do right now is to come over to this place that says people and you want to click on contact these two methods on how to import your contact into reply.io now you can do this by importing the csv file and you can also do this by manual configuration whereby you have to import your leads one at a time this will be very very stressful so i will not recommend you with this so what you want to do is to import from cxv and mind you guys we've been able to get our leads with lead sniper google maps scraper so i'm just going to click on choose file all right and i'm going to come down here because i have my file already right here from lead sniper so i'm just going to click on this one basically all right and i'm going to click on open so now once you click on open now the next thing you have to do is for you to pay attention to this so if you look at this basically guys you can see these are the fields i have on my own cxv file and you can see this is the required field from reply.io now look at this you can see the email field basically what this is is my customers or my client email addresses and now you can see i want to make sure i map it on reply.io that this is the email address and here we go guys you can see i have it as the email address now you want to go up again and where you have the name you can see this is the name file or the name column you want to come here and you also want to choose full name now it's simple so you want to map the exact information you have on your file from lead sniper all right to match that of reply.io so once you are done mapping the exact things you want to map for me the most important thing is the email address the phone name and also their phone contact every other thing can be minor so i'm just going to click on continue all right and now you can see that we have over 430 contacts available to be imported so once i'm happy with what i'm seeing all right i'm just going to click on import so once i click on import you're going to be seeing that 430 contacts have been imported already i'm going to click on done and here we go guys automatically you have all the leads from lead sniper google map scraper imported into reply.io this is easy well simple and everything is well automated so you want to send your code emails it's simple all you need to do right now is to come over to the sequences and you want to click on sequences from here now once you click on sequences all you need to do is to come over to this place that said send first email now click on send first email and the next thing you have to do is you can see where it says import your leads um add and uh, add from existing create manually and set up integration for me i'm just going to come here and see add from existing so click on add from existing and the next thing you have to do guys is to 
to select all the email addresses you're trying to reach out to so me i'm just going to click on all right here so automatically it imports all of the email addresses all right and that will be the first step for us to take now once we are done with that all you need to do is to click on next at the bottom all right now you want to choose what you want to do with all of these email addresses now you can see we have many options for us to do you can see we can send them emails we can call them sms whatsapp linkedin zapier tags and all like that but i think the major one for you is going to be email addresses sending code emails and also sending code sms so it depends on what you want to go with and that is why i recommend reply.io if you're trying to start code outreach with on a budget and if you're trying to get a good result from every code outreach you're putting out there i recommend reply.io so i'm going to click on email address because i want to send code emails to these guys so all you have to do from here is to write the email you're trying to send to your recipients so i'm going to do that really quick all right and here we go guys you can see i have my already written out now i'm just going to click on save all right which can be possible all right so you can see when you click on save automatically if you want to add in some other options to it you can also do that maybe you want to send them series of emails you can also click on this plus icon right here and you can choose the next step or the next action you want to take so for me i think i'm okay with this one i'm going to click on next right here and once i click on next right here now the only problem we have right here guys is adding our email account and i told you that adding your email account would vary based on the email center you're trying to add into reply.io so i can basically click on add email account right from here and i'm just going to choose the email account i want to use and also you can try using out your linkedin if you find it comfortable to use so i'm going to click on manage email account and what you need to do right now is just click on yes so each and every of this email providers would have different ways of connecting them into reply.io so once you've been able to connect your sender you are good to go and you can start sending code emails using reply.io so if you found this video helpful where i just explain how you can start a full code outreach system making use of lead sniper to generate your leads and also make use of reply.io you can smash the like button in appreciation and if you want to see more content like this subscribe to the channel right now and if you've got any question you can ask me in the comment section below and i'll try my possible best to answer your question so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one please take care and bye